Hello, this is Coach. So I want to cook off, and I just had another cooking session, and I'm in the red light district for DJSounds.com. <laughs> This year at ADE, we decided to see the event through the eyes of an artist, someone who could not only tear any dance floor apart, but who also has the skills to cause some serious damage in the kitchen. Kolsch, it seems, is a master of both. Okay, we are in the kitchen of ADE. It's the official cook-off that they do every year, and this year, We've been invited down by Kolsch. We were down here enjoying his food, enjoying his company, enjoying the company of his family and friends. Definitely, it's been fantastic. But where do your skills come from? Where, where does your love of food come from? Mm, it's kind of hard to determine in a sense. I used to actually, I was a conscientious denier uh, from the military and I used to work in this communal uh, kitchen for a year where I was forced to generally. and. Um, and we cook three times a week for about 50 people. So, tell us what you made for us tonight. Well, we named it, it came from North as a dish. It's very, very seasonal. It's cod cooked sous vide style with, um, with Jerusalem artichoke cream and as, uh, with so many ingredients. Was it good? Did you see Dave Clark being in charge? Every mouthful he took, every sniff he took, he was having a serious orgasm over his plate. You know what, that guy, well, that's the thing I love about Dave. He can be such a bad boy at the same time. He's like, he's the nicest guy on earth. I love that guy to bits. No, it's all about me and tears come to my eyes. I'm not tired and God brought tears to my eyes. There's nothing, it's just pure freshness, honesty and organicness. It's just, it's just good. Presentation. Four and a half. Taste. Five. And then. And then. Accidentally. I won. Um, but what is it with these, you guys and your food? Well, it's, it's the same thing basically. What we do when we play as a DJ is that we, we, we think over hours. We think how long do we have, when I have, let's, what crowd am I playing for? What's the age group? Which class could I drop at one point? You know, it's, it's all these things and it's the same with food. You know, you mix ingredients, you, you, you think what's in season, what would work with this ingredients, what would contradict this ingredient to create something different. It's all about being creative and inspiration. What is ADE for you? ADE for me is like the perfect fall break. I mean, it's just, we just finished the Ibiza season. We saw each other, what, one week ago? And now we're here, it's fall. I mean, with beautiful ingredients, so many cool palettes, so many interesting people talking about stuff that I just want to know. And you, you're looking at, I mean, I was looking at the pamphlet. I'm just, I'm, I was so annoyed that I don't have time to listen to more panels. And that's life, I guess. Tell us about what's going on on Saturday night. The debut of uh, a new lightning project that I've been working on with, Al with Ableton. Ableton and I started the project around six months ago, which should, it's going to be an, a visual add-on to the Ableton program, and we're debuting it on Saturday at my live show. And this is what you're launching tomorrow night in, in, in lieu of your tour for 2015? This is a tester. Uh, for the 2015 tour. We just, we're not done, it's still a soft launch, but we're trying it out on Saturday for the first time. Well, we followed him from a cook-off and now to his compact pop-up, I don't know, hot yoga session? I don't know. Compact cooking session, I guess. It's from one cook off to another cook off. <laughs> We're at the compact pop up party here in Amsterdam. Of course, we are with Coles. Let's 
Let's talk about the basement. What a great spot to have a pop-up party. I, I really, you know, I, I saw it last year and I said, I want to play that because it is, it feels like playing down it, it feels like you're 15 with your friends in a ghetto blast in a basement somewhere. That's kind of the whole vibe around it and it's, it's just so enjoyable. Like the few people that actually got in had a good time, it seems. Actually, I, I asked my booker if I could play this because last year it just seemed like such a nice thing to do. And I mean, even like, even the fact that people could go out here and buy records. I mean, where do you find a shop like this anywhere in the world? And I think it's so amazing that they do this pop-up store every year and I wanted to support it and wanted to draw people in and do whatever I could to help out.